Good morning. Come on, join us for worship as we give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Come on, join us for worship. Welcome to worship, another week of worshiping God together. We are so excited you're tuning in. Come on, everybody, let's get pumped. Let's go. Come on, lift those hands in worship. Wherever you are in your living room, let's give God some praise. Oh. Come on, come on. Good morning, good morning. Come on, let's have some church right where you are in your home. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. Than here in your love, here in your love. Oh. Come on, let's share this live so we can worship together. Come on, let's call the nations. Let's wake up the world this morning. Good morning. Come on, let's wake the world up for worship yes, this morning. To bring you joy. Come on, wherever you are in your living room, you can stand and give God praise. You can lift your hands and give Him glory. Come on, let's usher in the Spirit. Let's meet God where He is right now in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody sing, now I have a purpose. Now I have a destiny. You made me for your glory. You made me for your glory. Come on. Now I have a destiny. You made me for your glory. You made me for your glory. Come on, let's give him glory this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who the sun set free is free in me. And there ain't no that can hinder me. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, let's declare it. Come on, do me a favor. Share this live. And invite the world in to worship this morning. Hallelujah. Who the sun set free is free indeed. And there ain't no change that can hit me. Come on, declare hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the honor. Let's give him the praise. Oh, oh, oh. 
Come on, let's take a moment to worship. Let's give him glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Come on, let's begin to worship God right there. If you just extend your hands up wherever you are, just get in a position of worshiping him. Get in a position of seeking the face of God. Wherever you may be in your home, now is the time that we call on God. Now is the time that we Hallelujah. render prayer. And so we just want to set the pace, set the atmosphere so that we can get the intention of God. And so we're Hallelujah. just asking that you will just lift your hands right where you are and just begin to worship God wherever you are in your home, who's around, it doesn't Hallelujah. matter. But if you need something from God, just yes, begin God. to lift up your hands and begin to speak well of him. Thank letting you, him Lord. know that he is wonderful. Letting him know that he is magnificent. Letting him know that we need him in this time. Come on, just begin to worship him. Father in heaven, Hallelujah. we honor you today. God, we just tell you thank you, oh God, for just being so amazing. God, we honor you for who you are. We honor you, oh God, because you have never left us nor forsaken us. And God, we tell you thank you for everything thank that you, you have provided for us. Over the years, oh God, over the months, over the weeks, over the days, God, we tell you thank you for just being you, so good to us. Even when we wasn't good to ourselves, yes, God, Lord. you kept us and you covered us. And God, you didn't stop there, but God, you made sure that there was a blanket, oh God, a covering around our home yes, that Lord. protected our family. God, and then when we looked a little bit further, our neighbors were okay, God, and our friends were okay. God, and those of us that have to go to work and log into work, God, our co-workers were okay. And so, God, we tell you thank you for this week of blessings. Oh, God, we tell you thank you, oh, God, for this week, God, that you have kept us safe and sound. God, we don't take for granted a day. God, we don't take for granted an hour. Oh, God, that, that the good things that you have done for us and the ways that you have made for us. God, we tell you thank you for healing thank you, power. Lord. God, we tell you thank you, oh, God, for delivering power. God, that has met the need, oh God, wherever we are. God, we tell you thank you, oh God, because you have just been amazing good Hallelujah. to us, oh God. And we tell you thank you now, oh God, because we believe, God, that this is not it. And you have more to come for us. So, God, we get in expectation mode. And yes, we God. thank you, oh God, for what's getting ready to happen. Thank God, you, God, we tell you thank you, oh God, for what you're getting ready to do, even in the midst of the storm. God, we tell you thank you, oh God, because we Hallelujah. know that you are still in control. Yes, God, Lord. we know that you still have all power in your hands. And so we tell you thank you now, oh God, because we know, God, that you're working it out for our good. My God. God, that we're leaning and depending on your word and we're trusting you. And so, oh God, we have no other reason, oh God, to have fear or worry. But the only thing we have, oh God, is hope in you. The only thing we have, oh God, is trust in you, yes, God, Lord. because we know you will deliver. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We know you will deliver. Hallelujah. And so we tell you thank you, oh thank God. You, we tell you thank you now. God, because we know, God, that we will be delivered, oh God, from this thing. God, we tell you thank you now for every Hallelujah. circumstances, every concern, and every worry. God, we lay it at your feet on yes, today. Lord. God, we lay it at your feet now in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Every burden. God, we give it to you now yes, because God. we know, God, that you are, are getting ready to just turn the thing around for us, oh God. Hallelujah. And so we tell you thank you, oh God. Thank As we God. bow now. God, we bow now just laying it all at your feet. Yes, Lord. God, we don't want to give it to anybody else. We're not depending on nobody else. God, we, we're not depending on no stimulus check or anything else. But God, we're depending on you. Yes, because Lord. Because before that money hit, God, you were still blessing us. We still ate good. Thank we were you, able God. to pay our bills. Hallelujah. And so, God, we tell you thank you, oh God. Thank you, God. God, we tell you thank you, oh God, for the addition. For what you are adding to us, oh God. We tell you thank you now, Jesus. We tell you thank you now, God, that you're not subtracting, oh God, but you're adding and you're yes, multiplying God. our blessings, oh God. Hallelujah. So we say thank you right now thank in you, the God. name of Jesus. Jesus. And Hallelujah. we stand in receiving positions with our hands open. Yes, God. Not closed, oh God, but as we're worshiping you, oh God, we're Hallelujah. ready to receive everything that you have for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Now I call every ready seed that's ready for the people of God. God, that you will just sow it unto them now in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of lack now in Jesus' name, oh God. God, I bind the spirit, oh God, of, of, of disease and illness, oh God, unhealthiness. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray, God, that you will have your way, oh God, like never, Hallelujah. ever before. Now, God, I pray, God, that you just begin to 
turn this thing around. Yes, Lord. In the mighty Hallelujah. name of Jesus in our lives, oh God. Yes, God. God. While we wait on you, God, we will bless your Hallelujah. name. Thank you, Jesus. While we wait, oh God, we'll worship you. Thank you, Lord God. While we wait on you, oh God, Hallelujah. we will praise your name, oh God. God, because yes, we have seen miracles, signs, and wonders, oh God. And we said thank you now, thank oh you, God, God, for turning it around, oh God. God, Hallelujah. we tell you thank you for going against the doctor's report. God, we said thank you now thank you, God. for going against the judge's report, oh God. We thank you, God, because you are shifting and you are doing things in your timing. So, God, we just will be praise you, God. Hallelujah. We will be patient and will pray. God, we will be patient, oh God, and be in position. God, we said thank you now for what thank you, you are doing, oh God. God, we said thank you now for what you are doing, oh God. God, and we honor you, God. We pray that you'll come into this worship experience and have your way, oh God. We pray, God, that you will just begin, oh God, to bless every pastor that has uh, the assignment, oh God, to go go live and worship today, God. God, I pray for Pastor Hill, oh God. I pray for our Bishop, Pastor Don Hugh, oh God. We pray for our Godfather, Pastor Kenneth Phelps, oh God. We pray, oh God, for our brother, Leverett Bryan, oh God. We pray, oh God, for J.D. Anderson. Hallelujah. God, we pray, oh God, for our, all of our pastor friends, Pastor Yo, oh God, Cruz, the Cruises. God, we pray, oh God, for the Howards on today, God. Hallelujah. God, we call out all of our pastors. Pastor friends and yes, our, God. Our pastor uh, parents, oh God, who have the, the assignment to cover us and walk alongside of us in this season, oh God. God, Hallelujah. we pray. God, I bind the spirit, oh God, for any glitches in the system today. God, I pray that I bind, oh God, anything that's going to come against live, oh God. God, your word will go forth on today. Yes, Lord. The people will hear your word on today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, and I pray for every pastor that woke up, oh God, with anxiety this morning, oh God. God, and with fear and worry in their heart, Hallelujah. let it cease. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, God, let them see you, oh God, and go forth in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Pastor Williams, thank you, God, for bringing him to me. Pastor Williams and Faith Williams, we pray for them, oh God, in yes, the name Lord. of Hallelujah. Jesus. God, I pray, God, that you will be with all of our brothers and sisters, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, oh God, like never, ever before. Hallelujah. God, Pastor Chris swims, oh God, all the way in Carbondale. God, be with him right on now, today. God. And Hallelujah. Lady Brittany, oh God, we pray God you'll cover, cover us, oh God, as we go forth in your word, oh God. If Hallelujah. I fail to mention anyone, God, you know my heart. You know who they are. Be with them now in the mighty name of Jesus. The stores, oh God, the Wilsons. God, we pray now, God, you'll just cover us, oh God, like never before. God, we love hallelujah. you and we trust you, oh God. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, just take a moment right where you are and just lift your hands in worship. Thank hallelujah, you, right where you are, lift your hands in worship. Uh, the thing I love about us worshiping online, you, nobody gets to see how you worship. Thank you, Jesus. you can just worship in the privacy of your own home. Thank you, you don't Jesus. have to worry about people looking at you and watching Thank you. you so just take a moment and lift your hands in worship Thank and you, just Jesus. give God Thank glory Jesus. right where you are. Thank you, Come on, Jesus. this is God's moment between you and God. Thank so you, just Jesus. lift your hands and just worship him oh, God, in your home, you. in, your you, own, in your own personal, private God, sanctuary you. this you, morning. Just lift your hands and worship oh, you, and just surrender all to him. Come on, surrender you, Jesus, every anxiety, you, surrender every thought, thank surrender you, every concern this morning in thank the you, name Jesus. of Jesus. Come on, lift thank your you, hands. Jesus, your you, hands and lift are lifted up is a sign thank of you, surrender. Jesus. Surrendering thank unto the Lord, surrendering to his will Hallelujah. and surrendering thank to his Jesus. way just to let him have his thank way. God, Jesus. have your way this morning. Hallelujah. In the life of your people. Thank Come on, Jesus. give him glory. Hallelujah. Come on, Thank just worship Jesus. him. Give him glory. Oh, we honor you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, we don't have to rush. Just give him glory. Hallelujah. Give him worship. We honor you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We speak peace. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We speak joy. Thank you, Jesus. We speak love. Hallelujah. We speak happiness. Thank you, oh God. Oh, bless the God name of the Lord you. this Thank morning. You, Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, have an Thank intimate you, time with Jesus. God. Hallelujah, oh God. We Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Bless thank your you, name, Jesus. God. Oh, thank you, Lord. God, God you're thank worthy you, of all Jesus. honor. Thank you're you, worthy Lord. of all Hallelujah. praise. Thank 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And we bless Thank the you. name of the Lord Thank this morning. You, Hallelujah. Well, good morning. Thank you, Lord God. Good morning. Amen. You, now that we've said good morning to God, amen, we say good morning to you. Thank you, Jesus. Um, all over the world. Good morning to every precious member and thank partner you, of Purpose Church. We thank God for you. We thank God for your life. We thank, thank you, God uh, for your love, for your heart, for your church, and your heart for your pastors, and your heart for God's people. Uh, we ask you, as always, every you, single Jesus. Sunday to do us a favor. Listen, I need every single person that's watching online to simply hit the share button. Thank Come on, Jesus. I need this morning, I need at least 50 shares this morning, 50 to 100 Thank people. Uh, matter of fact, 100 people will be great to share this live stream Thank to you. the world. Amen. So that the world can hear the word of the Lord. So that the world can be encouraged in prayer this morning. Um, as we worship, we serve, and we give online uh, at Purpose Church. And so again, your service this morning is to share, hit the share button to help us share the gospel all around the world. And so again, we say Thank good Jesus. morning to everyone. We want to say happy birthday to all of the April birthdays. We say happy birthday to every single precious person who's celebrating a birthday in the month of April. We thank God for uh, you all. And then we want to say, uh, send our heart and our condolences. Amen. To every bereaved family, those who have lost, whose loved ones have transitioned um, on this week. We're praying this morning uh, for, for the uh, entire family, the Whisper family, the Parks family. The Conley family, the Cooks family, the Donahue family. Um, There's so many to name. The Millsap family. We're praying our hearts this morning are going out to Pastor Wyatt and the uh, Monroe Baptist Church family and to uh, Pastor Hatch and to all those who have lost. There's so many to name. And all we can do is just cry out to God and ask God to have mercy on the hearts and the souls of people um, because we can't physically be where everyone is at, but we know that God is able to be there when we can't be there. Listen, we thank you for your prayers for our sister-in-law, uh, Tatiana Donahue. Please continue to keep her lifted in prayer um, as God continues to heal and restore and deliver her. And so continue to keep everybody encouraged in the Lord because we need all to just come together as one in order for God to do what God is going to do in the life of the believers. So again, Purpose Church, we welcome you to all of our guests. We welcome you. Jump in the comment section and say hello to somebody. Give somebody a high five and a in the comment section and just let them know that you you love them, you miss them, and that you want to be encouraged in their life. And then listen, we also want to announce today at 2 p.m., um, every member of Purpose Church, we're going to do a Purpose Church check-in live via Zoom. And so we're going to send out the Zoom link later today, and we just want to see your face and make sure that you are doing okay. We want to hear your voice. Nothing deep, nothing uh, super spiritual, no Bible study, no prayer. We just want to say what's up. That's it. Amen from Pastor Pat and myself and the girls. We just want to see your face and we want to wave at you and all those great things. Listen, before we jump in the word, we want to remind you all to be faithful givers and how you can give to our church. Um, we thank you for those who have been sowing all week long. Guess what? Because we worship online, you don't have to wait till Sunday to give. You can give Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Amen. You can give from your kitchen, from the living room. You can give from anywhere in your house, any day of the week. And we appreciate the fact that you are a blessing to our church and how you give to our church. And so I want to ask one of our members to drop the giving information um, in our giving um, online in our comment section to make sure that you give to our church and, and that you give to the kingdom of God. So that we can continue to do the work of the Lord. Amen. We've been able to bless so many people um, because of your giving every single Amen. week. We're finding a way to be a blessing. This week we're a blessing to essential workers, those who are essential, Amen. who have to go out, 
we were able on Friday to bless over 15 people with lunch on this Friday because of your giving to Purpose Church. And um, in the midst of that, we were able to send food to some of our elders of our church, uh, those who are in need, who needed food, we were able to bless them as well. And so we want to say thank you for your tithes and for your offering to continue to have our church go forth and do the work of the ministry. Amen. 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 Any special announcements about GLAM you want to share? Amen. Um, so GLAM, everybody knows, has been moved to September 12th. I want to thank everybody who has placed a deposit, who has paid their registration. Registration is open. Uh, we have everything full speed ahead. Uh, we're praying that God will do what he is going to do. Amen. And that everything will be clear by September. We believe that it will be. Um, and so we want to not get distracted by what's going on around us, but let us prepare to do what we do every year. And that's uplift and encourage every woman, no matter the race, creed, um, religion, walk of life, whatever it is. We pack out um, venues every year for Glam Conference and we encourage the women, not just the women of God, but those that are looking for God. We make sure that we make space for them as well. So we, when they come, we are an example. And they may leave there knowing who God is and receiving him. And so we want to make sure that we all prepare for September and making sure that um, we secure our spaces. Listen, I only have a certain amount of number of seats. And so I need everybody, if you are going, you plan on attending, you can leave a deposit just to book your seat and make sure that you are there and pay on Amen. it. The cost is only $75. And that includes your lunch. That includes all of your materials. And we just have a long list of things. I'm sorry. Prayer just and worship messed me up. So I'm trying to get myself together. But you, there, there's just a long list of things that we have planned for you on that day. And so um, we are just asking that all the women of God... All the women who know women, who want to be a blessing to somebody else. Maybe you can't make it September 12th and you want to sponsor someone. We're accept, accepting sponsorships as well. And so all of the information, someone from the team or from the church, you can you can get with them. They'll probably pop up and put thing on uh, something on the live here so you'll know where to go register. And then we will be able to move forward. But I would love to see you and we would love to have you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Listen, let's go to the word on this morning. Um, I'm going to do my best to share this entire message as the Lord has placed it on my heart uh, to share this morning. Listen, I want to do something totally different this morning and go, into, go in a totally different direction this morning uh, for worship service. Uh, but the Lord implanted this word uh, in my heart to share just to encourage um, believers on this morning um, and those of all walks of faith and all levels of faith, no matter where you are in this particular time. Uh, let's go get your Bibles. Let's go to uh, 3 John, 3 John 3, 3 John chapter number 1, verse 2, 3 John 1 and 2, 3 John 1 and 2. Not the gospel according to John, but a, there's one John, there's two John, then there's a third John, and then it's chapter number one, one verse number two. And we're going to read from the Amplified Version this morning. Amen. So grab your Bibles, turn there, get there real quick. John, uh, third John, chapter one, verse number two. Uh, and here's, here's what it says. You want to read what it says? Yes, sir. It says, Beloved, I pray that in every way... You may succeed and prosper and be in good health physically, just as I know your soul prospers spiritually. I'll read it again. It says, Beloved, I pray that in every way you may succeed and prosper and be in good health physically, just as I know your soul prospers spiritually. Amen. Amen. And so here it is. This morning I want to share, I want to share a word uh, from this particular thought or subject. Uh, the essential soul. The essential Amen. soul. Amen. The essential soul. You can drop it in the comment section. Uh, this message, the essential soul that we are going to share. Listen, um, we are we are living in a season where the word essential 
is uh, it's, it's a trending topic all over the world. Amen. Uh, we are encouraged to only go outside in order to buy essential things and stores uh, that remain open and places that remain open um, that are, are considered essential for our lives to get the items and things that we need. Um, in addition to that, um, only uh, essential workers, those who are essential, um, are going out. Those who are the first responders on the front line at the hospitals and at uh, the fire department, the police station and utilities and all these places uh, who are considered to be essential workers, they're being asked to still go out to work and be on the front line to help make sure that those who are in need are properly served. And we know that uh, the word essential itself means absolute uh, absolutely necessary, mm -hmm. absolutely necessary or of extreme importance. Essential is a thing that you just got to have, that you got to need. Uh, it's not optional. It's not something that you just want to have or something that you want to do or you want to go. But it's, it's what's ne absolutely necessary mm -hmm. in this season and in this Time and so, and we know that many people are having a hard time uh, trying to uh, determine what's essential and what's not, <laughs> and who is essential and who's not, and who's not essential. Amen. Um, but this is the moment and season where we now discover there are some things that we've been, we've been able to do without. Amen. There are some places that we have not gone that we've been able to not go. And we and guess what? We are good and we are straight. <clears throat> and so uh, there are absolutely necessary things that we all need in life to survive, like food, like water, like products, shelter, uh, health care. Hallelujah, somebody. Uh, health care is key. Even communication is um is pretty essential to yes. be able to uh to communicate with one another right. and to share with one another. Um, but what what I realized and what God imprinted on my my heart uh, this week um, as we wrestle with the idea of church being essential or the church building being essential. Mm -hmm. um, what God imprinted on my heart is that. Um, what is also essential and probably the most essential the most. is our soul. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Our soul is what is essential in this season. As we see people dying, people transitioning, uh, people leaving this world. Uh, my question always, as I see the numbers go up, were, there, were they saved? How is their soul? What was going on in their uh, in their spirit in the midst of all of this chaos and concern? And so when when the material things break down and uh, stuff gets old, mm -hmm. Amen. Um, when time causes our health to fail, what is really essential is our soul. soul. Amen. We all we all have a soul, and what is essential. That's the essential piece of us. When when our soul leaves our body, uh, we have nothing but a shell that's left. Right. Material things we leave behind. Right. And so in the midst of all of these things we have in life, um, what is essential and absolutely necessary is the condition of our, of our soul. Mm -hmm. And so here it is as we visit this text. And uh, in 3 John, in 3 John... We see, um, we see John um, communicating, communicating to believers and to people. Now, in the text, the early church had experienced this widespread of division. Um, everybody were divided on different theological issues and um, and practical principles and religious traditional uh, practices and thoughts. And, and there were those in the church. Who simply didn't care for the things of God. Right. Amen. We can be in church, but don't care about the church. Hallelujah. Right. Right. We can be exactly. in church, but don't care about the things of God. Right. But more so how we personally benefit from the gathering or the places that we are in. Um, there were those who were initiators of troubles 
and problems that, that started uh, meaningless gossip and, um, t and, and set out to sway others to reject the teachings of the leaders. Yeah. And guess what? Even in this season, right. in this moment, we have people mm. who their mission is to sway others exactly. to reject the teaching yeah. of their leaders. Yeah. Even as yeah. we have church online, and even as we have electronic church or e-church, there are still people that are temp that tempt to sway the thoughts and the minds, uh -huh. because here it is: the enemy don't like that um, the whole the whole church has gone global right. on the internet. Exactly. Amen. Amen. The the, the, the enemy don't don't like that um, that the gospel is being spread all over the world via social media. So it's hard to get on social media now and not hear somebody praying right. or see somebody worshiping right. or see somebody preaching and spreading the gospel. Why? Because God understands that in this moment, what is essential is the soul. That's right. Amen. And so Amen. guess what? God is going to always have a preacher or a prophet or a prophetess or an evangelist mm -hmm. that is going to be able to speak a word on the airwaves to minister wow. to the soul. Why? Yes. To, to, to distract and break up what the naysayers are trying to right. do. What the haters and the enemies are trying to do to interfere with the word of the Lord. Wow. still going forward. Wow. So then here it is. Yeah. John writes a letter <laughs> to, in, to give encouragement. A letter. This is a letter of encouragement. Amen. How many leaders who are watching that you would just love to get a letter of encouragement? <laughs> Amen. For somebody just to encourage you and say, hey, man, hey, girl, you're doing a good job. Hang on in there. Everything is going all right. Yes, you may have some technical difficulties with your online church, with your online streaming, but guess what? You're doing a good job. Amen. Hang on in there. Everybody wants to be encouraged, and you want to be encouraged, which is why you tune in this morning. And God has blessed us to encourage you. Here it is. John writes this letter of encouragement to Gaius. To Gaius. John writes to let him know that he has plans to see him soon. Amen. But in the meantime, um, he said there are some issues of grave concern. But here is what I love about what John does and where we're going to drop anchor this morning. Before John goes on to talk about the issues, to talk about the problems, to talk about what's going on in the church, as I, as I use my favorite saying, he paused for the cause. Paused he for paused the for the cause <laughs> to, to speak to the man of God. To encourage this leader in the church. And guess what? Um, as pastors, as, as key leaders, we got to pause for a minute to encourage those who are helping us lead. Amen. Amen. Because many times, yes, there's issues, there's problems, there's things going on in our in organizations and in life and in the government that can really confuse us. Right. Amen. When we get locked in on what the dude in the White House is not doing, we get distracted by what other people around are doing. Amen. Amen. To help make things better. And so he takes time to encourage him who this man who was his friend, who was his partner in ministry to encourage him. And so here it is. John says to him some things that are important to us today that we got to realize. He says, beloved, he calls him beloved. That's my wife's favorite word, beloved. <laughs> beloved means that I care about yep. you. Beloved means that yes. I'm concerned about you. Yes. Beloved means that, listen, I've been thinking about you and I have your best interest at heart. Amen. He says, beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul, your soul prosper. shall prosper. Amen. Listen, listen, this is a major point of the text that sets up everything that John's about to share um, to share here with, with the reader in this particular letter uh, to his friend. He, he says, listen, man, I'm concerned about you. 
I want you to prosper. Amen. Um, um, as our guy Matt says, I want you to flourish. flourish. He says, I want you to flourish. And that's, that's literally what prosper means. We'll talk about it in a minute. That that's what I want you to do to flourish. So that's the first thing he says. Um, he lets us know that I want you to, that Amplify says, succeed and prosper. Guess what, believers? Even in this moment, while we're staying at Amen. home, it's a great season Amen. to succeed and prosper. Amen. Yes, listen, I, I know there is a record filing of unemployment and all of these things, uh, but guess what? How many know that God is able to make you prosper even without a paycheck? Amen. Y'all don't want to hear me this morning. <laughs> even without a paycheck, even without a job, God yes. can bless you to the point that you are successful and able to prosper. Amen. Why? Because success is not always based upon what you have in your hands. Yes. What you're able to get your hands on. Prosperity is not all about money and things, but it is about the flourishing in life or the going to the next level in life or being able to gracefully get through what you got to go through. Again, that word prosper means to flourish, to thrive, and to do well. It means to live well. And more importantly, to prosper means to grow. To grow. grow. Amen. Amen. To grow. So in this moment, we should be growing. We Amen. should be getting better. You want got something you want to share in there? Amen. Let's get past the break. <laughs> he loves it. I he's love amped, this word. He's amped about it. Amen. And that's good. But yes, I have I, I think I have preached this when we first started um, with our message. This is the time to lock in and to see where God is going to take you. See what God wants you to be doing. It is the time to definitely to be growing. And so we have to put ourselves in a position. We have no other choice. God has put us in a position, all yes. of us, that we have to get stuck and grounded right where he wants us and to begin to grow. What we're doing now is just building foundation. And so yes. we have to be able to just build on top of that. And as we build, we will find out that we are learning and we are growing in our in our spiritual being because the soul is definitely what's important. And we can't we can't put more into our physical body than what we're putting into our soul. Hallelujah. We can't build our physical body. We're we're you know, between LaKendra and I, we are big on different diets and trying to do what we have to do to, to lose this weight. But we would be doing ourselves a disservice if we were more uh, researching on diets and how to lose weight and keep our physical selves up. If we was not researching and doing what we needed to do about our, our, um, our spiritual self. And so we have to put ourselves in a position now so that we can make sure that our soul will definitely prosper. And, and it's okay if it outweighs or, it, or if it grows higher than what we are doing for our physical being. Amen. Because if we focus on our soul, which means God is working with us, then everything is going to level out anyway. And so we have to be definitely in tune to what's going on with our souls in this season. Amen. And so here it is. John says, listen, man, I want you to be good. I want you to succeed. I want you to have a great church. I want you to have a great ministry. Matter of fact, John says, I want you to have everything that comes with it. And, and we, we ought to wish well on other people. Yes. We ought to wish, listen, listen, I, I don't want to see anyone lose Jesus. anything. We ought to wish well yes. and good success. Good homes, good jobs, good churches, good businesses, good yeah. careers. We ought to invest in one another because guess what? We want to see everybody win. Uh, we want to see everybody yes. win. We want to see everybody. Listen, the more we prosper as believers, the better we can finance the kingdom of God. Absolutely. Come on here. Absolutely. The better we can finance the kingdom of God. But guess what? One should not be living better than the next person living. 
we all should gather together and come together to make sure that everybody's good. Hallelujah. That everybody's good, that they're successful, and that they're doing great in the kingdom of God. And so this prosperity thing, um, um, there is, of course, uh, prosperity from a material perspective, which is things, things, and all those, all that stuff or whatever. Then there's the physical prosperity, which is uh, good health, the physicalness of it. And then there is the spiritual side of it, which is the soul. And we're going to jump into it. Uh, the Bible says in Deuteronomy 29 and 9, yeah. Deuteronomy 29 and 9 says, Keep therefore the words of this covenant, and do them that you may prosper in all that you do. You may prosper in all that you do. And so if you're watching online, just drop in the comment section, I will prosper in all. Come yeah. on. I will prosper in all. Yeah. I will prosper in all. That means everything. All that I do, I will prosper in all of it. All of it. Everything I put my hands to, everything I put my feet to, my mind to, I am going to prosper in it all. Amen. Amen. And so number two, number two, the next thing I want to share is this. Um, so not only he says, I want you to succeed and I want you to prosper. He says, but I also want you to be in good health. Good health. Amen. Amen. Good health. Come on, just comment good health. Good, good health. health. Good health. I Amen. want you to be in good health. Amen. In other words, here's the point I'm going to make. I want you to be in be healthy so you can enjoy the prosperity. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to be healthy yes. so you can enjoy the prosperity. Yes. God wants us to be in good health. Amen. Right now, we're losing people at a rapid pace in the African-American community because of COVID-19. Because we're wrestling with some con pre-existing conditions Jesus. that we came into this pandemic with. Yes. Hallelujah, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Listen, we have to build. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. We have to build ourselves up so that we're careful not to take pre-existing conditions into new situations. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Because wow. you never know when the pandemic is going to break out. Shoot. Guess what? You never know when there's going to be a pandemic in your marriage. Jesus. Amen. You never know when there's going to be a pandemic in your relationship. Yeah. And so you can't take pre-existing conditions uh, into your purpose yeah. or into your destiny. Why? Yes. Because now you come into the situation uh, um, at a disadvantage. And here it is. For far too long for those who are um who are uh, disadvantaged, those who are um, at an um, economic disadvantage because of systemic racism and all these things that have taken place in our system. We yes. always come into situations and pandemics and circumstances behind the eight ball at a disadvantage. But, but listen, I pause and declare that this is a season God is going to shift us to be healthy. That we're going to be healthy people, healthy communities, healthy churches so that we won't come in at a, a, a physical difference disadvantage, but we're going to come in with the advantage. Why? Because we're going to have favor. We're going to have good health. We're going to have good relationships. We're going to have good marriages and good families and good, good, good buildings and all these things that come with being the children of God. Thank you, God. Being a part of the kingdom. And so you can have good health, hmm. but you just got to stay away from the junk. That's right. Amen. You got to stay away from the junk that make you sick. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, God. And listen, listen, I had to learn this. I learned this. You can have a diagnosis and still be healthy. My God, hallelujah. So you can have a diagnosis hallelujah. and still maintain good health. Yes, God. Why? Because that's what God has promised us. That's what God wants us to have is to be in good health. Yes. You can be diagnosed with anything, but you can still come out on top of it and still be in good health. We we have the responsibility to watch out for underlining health conditions, 
It's not God's responsibility because he's already made his declaration yes, for us to be in good health. And so when things are not lining up to what God is saying it should line up to, it's our responsibility to reach out to the doctor, to reach out uh, to whoever we have to reach out to. And that's not just physical sickness, mental sickness. You have to watch underlining health issues across the board yes. because it is our responsibility. This is a gift that God has given us. Good health, it's a gift. He's given it to us, and we have to be able to take care of the gift. You know, you don't want someone to present you with the gift, um, or you, you, you've you given somebody something, and then you watch them just take it and throw it on the floor and rip it apart and step on it and yes. do whatever, make it dirty. Um, that's not what you do with the gift. When you have been given a gift, you have to take care of it. Yes. You have to be a good steward over what God has blessed you with. So listen, and the fact that you have high blood pressure, stop blaming it on God. We have to be in good health. So if we have any type of underlying disease, illness, or sickness, it's our responsibility to make sure that we get that thing checked out. Make sure that we go to the proper doctors to get it checked out so that we can be lined up with what the Word of God has set out for us to be lined up with. Amen? Yes. And so look, if, if you have found yourself in a position where you are being sick and you have sickness, then you need to check on that. You need yes. to check on that and see why you are being sick. Sometimes it's not um, an illness, but burdens will make you sick. My God. Trouble will make you sick. Yes. Stress will make you sick. Depression will make you sick. Low self-esteem will make you sick. And then watch this. Gossiping. Eventually, it's going to make you sick. Yeah. Backbiting is going to make you sick. Lying, hatred, drugs and alcohol, just consuming things into your body, into your system will make you sick. And so Psalms 1, let's go Psalms 1. I'm getting like past, so now I'm getting amped. Psalms 1, 1 and 3. And that says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his, the, his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate both day and night, and he shall be like a tree, remember the foundation I'm telling you that we're building on, like a tree that's planted by the rivers of the water, and it's not just going to stand there, because as long as I'm building and I am growing, the scripture goes on and says that it will bring forth his fruit in his season. Yes. And, watch this, his leaf also shall not wither. Thank you, God. So no matter what type of seasons come in and out, no matter what's going wither. on, you will not wither. Hallelujah. If you are planted, like the scripture has said, you should be planted in this season, you won't wither. So don't worry about it. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatsoever we do, God wants us to be in good health and to prosper. This is God's desire for his children. He does not want us to be without. He does not want us to be sick and ill. This is not God. This is not what God wants us to be. And, and so here it is. Therefore, therefore, we must take care of ourselves. Amen. We got to take as, as people. As believers, as those, listen, if you love your family, you'll take good care of you. You'll take good care of your health, your mind, all of those things. Yes, we love God. We love our families. But then also, you got to love yourself enough. Amen. You got to love yourself enough Amen. to say, I will be in good health. Come on, put that in the comment section. I will be in good health. I will be in good health. I will do all I can to make sure that I'm good physically. If it means getting up and taking a walk. If it means stop stressing about stuff. If it means take your mind off the news and put your mind on the word of God to make you feel better. Do what you need to do. Listen, listen, there's nothing wrong with having a moment of just being selfish and saying, I need to get myself together. Amen. Because here it is, when you, you're no good to nobody else, Absolutely not. if you're not good to yourself. Amen. 
if you're not good to yourself. You got to pause and make sure that you're good. Amen. So you can be good for the other people who are around you. Amen. And let us use this moment to get ourselves together. Wow. Amen. Yeah. It's nothing against nobody else, but just take you a moment. Gather your thoughts. Make sure your health is good. Make sure you're good so you can be strong and be of good courage to stand and to fight this thing. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be in good health. We have to live essential lives. Our health is essential. Good health is essential. Amen. Good health is essential to get us to where God wants us to be. Amen. I say it all the time. No stress. No strain. No struggle. No struggle. No stress, no strain, no struggle. But we will be in good health. And then, so here it is, our last our last uh, note we want to share with you today. And then we're done worshiping online uh, for today, for this moment. The last thing we want to share is, um, I want your soul to prosper just as everything else prospers. He says, to the, he says to him, I wish above all things mm -hmm. that you would succeed and prosper. And that you would be in good health. Then here's the part we want to plan at. As your soul prospers. Amen. Or he says, as I just as I know, your soul prospers spiritually. So we spend a lot of time working on everything else about us. But the question becomes, what about your soul? Mm. What about your soul? Is everything well with your soul? Amen. Listen, everything else around can be going great, and something something can be off with you spiritually. Your soul can be disconnected. Things aren't quite quite right for you. But what God placed in my heart this week to release and to share is that your soul is essential. Amen. Thank you, God. And it's your soul that needs to prosper. We often look to prosper and grow from the outside in. But God says, no, not for the believer. God says, even as your soul prospers. Amen. What, what does that say to me? It screams the word balance. Yes. Come on, drop that comment. Balance. Balance. You got to be good physically, Amen. spiritually, mentally, financially, socially. You got to have balance. And the only way that can happen is that is if your soul is good. And so what helps that? What helps our soul is prayer. Yes, God. Got to spend time in prayer. Got to spend time in the Word of God. Listen, prayer and the Word of God, guess what it is? It's soul food. Amen. It's soul food. Now, I know y'all love good soul food, <laughs> some chicken and some, some greens and some whatever makes you feel good when you Mac eat. Listen, good eating will make you happy. Somebody shout amen. Good eating will make you happy. It'll make your soul leap. Make it, make it leap for joy. Good banana pudding and peach cobbler and all those things. But guess what? Just as we get excited about feeding our physical man, we need to get just as excited about feeding our spiritual man, yeah. which is our soul. And we need soul food in order to do it. And it is the word of God. Amen. It is the prayers and the word that causes us to reflect internally and externally. And let's be honest, we all need to do some soul searching. Amen. We all, if you haven't taken time in these last 30 days, these last four or five weeks, to pause and to search your soul, mm -hmm. now yeah. is the time to do it. Amen. Because Amen. your soul is essential. Amen. The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the world? To gain the whole world. Yes. But lose so. your soul. Mm. The truth of the matter is, 
It's not the material things that are essential. Amen. Because even the things that we deem essential, thank you, Holy Spirit, yes. is not as essential as a soul. Hmm. And so watch this. Thank you, God. Be careful of allowing other people, the government, Dictate to you what's essential for you. Amen. Mm, my God. Don't, don't let the government or anybody else or people around you dictate to you what is essential for your life. Amen. Absolutely. But, but what does the word of God say? Amen. What does God say to you that's essential Amen. for you to survive? So we search it out in the world. In the world, in the word, not in the world, to get what's essential for our soul. People are struggling staying at home, man, because they they haven't taken time to search their souls. And the moment you search your soul, you'll discover that all I need is God. Hmm. All I need is God. Because the question becomes, if I die today. And leave this world. The houses. The cars. All of those other things. They'll pass away. Somebody will be fighting over them. Hmm. Somebody will want everything you got. Amen. But where will you spend eternity? Right. Have you set your soul up. For eternity. Have you secured a spot. Have you secured a place. For your soul. And so your soul. Is. Essential. What really matters. Is what God wants to do. In your life. Amen. So. Stop pampering. Your physical life. Yes. And find out. What's essential. For your soul. Yes. Don't focus so much. On the outer. Yes. But let's dig into what's going on in the inner. And I believe that if we work from inside out. Things will flow a lot differently. Things will, will be viewed a lot differently. Hallelujah. And so. Your soul is essential. And we have to make sure that we are focusing on. What's important in this season. So we want to wrap things up. And we want to go ahead and go with our conclusion for today is that God really wants you to prosper. Yes. God really wants you to have the house that you want. He wants you to have the car, the job, the joy, the peace, the love, all of that stuff. God wants you to have it. He wants you to have it. Um, and that's why we need for your soul to prosper because your soul is prospering Um you can say, regardless of the things, look around me. I still have everything going on as far as my soul is concerned. I still can declare the song that I love to sing all the time, that it is well with my soul. Amen. And so we want to know today that is it, is it well with you? Hallelujah. Is it well with your soul? Is it well with your soul yes. on today? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it well with your soul? Um, the Bible says that Jesus died. Um, he just didn't die Amen. Uh, for you to have this grand life. Amen. But he died and he rose from the grave so that our souls can be secured with God. Amen. So that our spirit man can set up sanctuary, hallelujah, in the presence of the Lord. And so we thank God for the essential soul. We want to testify to you that your soul is essential. And so wherever you are, if you're watching right now, you're not saved. You want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. This is your opportunity. This is your moment to give your life to Christ. You can inbox us if you want to be saved. You want to surrender your soul to God. You can email us at PurposeChurch at Yahoo.com. Email us. Tell us you want to be saved. Or you may want to just join our church online. 
You can inbox us or email us and one of our ministers will respond and reach out to you and lead you to the right path. God, we honor you today. We thank you for every soul. Those who are watching, those who are praying, those who are reflecting on the word. God, we pray that you would touch their hearts, their minds. God, we pray that you would allow us to continue to do some soul searching. Search our hearts, search our minds. If there's anything within us that should not be, God, remove it, take it away. But then, God, don't just leave it empty, but fill it with your joy. Fill it with your peace. Fill it with your word. Fill it with your love. God, we thank you for life and life itself and all you blessed us with. We thank you for your peace. We pray for the salvation of those who are watching. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Listen, we pray that this word has impacted your life, that it's given you strength, it's given you encouragement, that it's caused you to reflect on where you are with your life in God. Amen. Now, we pray that because you join us today that you will also consider sowing into our ministry, sending your tithes, your offerings to Purpose Church. All the information you need is online. It's there in the comment section. You can text to give and give online. You can give by cash app. All those opportunities of giving you can do. Take a moment again to share this live message with the rest of the world. But then make sure that it's well with your soul. Listen, thank you for joining us. You got anything you want to share? Amen. No, I pray that you all have a great week. I pray that you all feast on this word and let it be an encouragement to you. Um, and just declare, when the enemy comes in this week, just declare that it is well with my soul. No need to go back and forth. No need to contemplate. No need to give in or fold. We're not folding this week, amen? But we have spent enough time to know that it is well with our soul, that the promises of God is that we prosper and that we be in good good health. And so now we can just lean and depend on the word of God. We love you. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next God week. God bless you. See you next week. Have a great day.